Hey mom, I'm home. Well, today we are gonna be featuring my mom's very own house. So today we were at 1001 Eagle Stone Drive in Castle Rock in the beautiful neighborhood of Crystal Valley. Um, she is an original owner on this house, but it's done a ton of upgrades. It has this main floor study. It has these beautiful solid oak floors all the way through the whole entire main floor. Um, there's newer paint, there is newer carpet, there's a beautiful deck, so many cool things. Here's what else I love. There is no one looking in your windows. Look at that. And then here's the dining room and don't worry, you don't have to take that big chandelier down because I'm taking it. It was mine, I gave it to her. Now I'm gonna take it back and we're gonna put a completely boring one up there for you. But that chandelier is going in my new master bathroom next year. So this is the heart of the home. This is our kitchen and it does have its own pantry. Take a look here. Mom doesn't eat much. We even have these little custom wine bottle holders in here. Um, all this granite is new. She even added an island. This house did not have an island in the kitchen. Lots of windows. We have a double ovens here. It even has this really cool built-in trash and the backyard. It's a little covered in snow right now, but you can kind of get a feel. We have a really nice sitting area here. It's huge. Um, I would guess that that is 12 by 14. There's a little step up and then we get over to this part. That looks like it has some special locking mechanism. It backs to open space and right about up there is the Crystal Valley, um, Rial, uh, Crystal Valley Rhyolite Park mountain bike trail. You can see the neighbors take good care of their yards. She actually has a, a pad over there for a hot tub should you so desire. And there's lots of green grass down there and it's hard to see now, but there's, um, there's actually some flowers. Lots of flowers that are planted. Oh, and how do we miss? The front range right there from your kitchen when you're doing your dishes, you can look out at the mountain view. So um, she does have a little fox. His name is Perry. I don't know why she named him Perry, but he uh, likes to come visit in the spring and he stands on the other side of that fence. Um, this yard is fully pet fenced. It has two privacy fences on either side and the back has the split rail, which um, has the pet fencing in it and keeps little Perry out. The washer and dryer are included with this home and it does have a three car garage. I'm not really sure what we're gonna find when we look in here because we just moved her and it could be a disaster. But it's not. Look at that. You can totally fit your oversized trucks in here. It has the bike racks up top to uh, lift and lower your bikes. And then over here, we have uh, some loft storage, additional loft storage there. So, all right, we're gonna take a look upstairs, but before I get to those stairs, um, I should tell you that it does have a full unfinished basement that is plumbed for a bathroom. And, but we're gonna go upstairs. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we made it upstairs. And so if you have, oh, maybe you need a playroom for your kids, or if you're just a super doting grandma, you need a massive playroom spend the night hangout room for your grandkids. Here you go. Tons of storage in this massive closet here for all your games and super fun stuff. It just so happens her grandkids' names are Cassidy, Chance, and Gabriel. Imagine that. All right, so we are here at the top of the stairs. We have two more guest bedrooms over here. That bonus room is counting as a bedroom because it does have a closet in it. This room is slightly smaller, but 
equally tagged by our boys. Those are removable decals, so uh, feel free to remove those when you call this home yours. There's a view from the front of the house just to give you an idea of what's going on out there. They do have blackout shades in here as well. One more bedroom. This one is definitely bigger. We have all the blinds pulled up now, but there are blinds and window coverings. These are the benefits of buying an existing home because they've kind of worked out a lot of the kinks for you. Here is our guest bathroom. All right, but I really definitely save the best for last. The master bedroom is pretty awesome. When she moved in, this home had a fifth bedroom or technically it was the fourth bedroom option. We blew out the wall and now her master has a whole extra sitting room, crafting room, exercise room, office, whatever you need to make your bedroom complete. And I think I am safe to say no one had a bigger bedroom set than mom. Hers has obviously moved out of here now, but that was the most massive bedroom set I've ever seen. It was king size. It had multiple pieces of furniture. So I am certain that all of your furniture will fit in this bedroom. We've got more of those mountain views out the window from the tub and out the master bedroom. And here, I told you I was saving the best for last. Uh, here it is. Check out this closet. Isn't that amazing? Drawers, shelves, all kinds of built-ins for shoes. And this little secret, this is a jewelry box with a lock and key and the key's not here. So unfortunately I won't be able to show you inside of that today, but hopefully this piques your interest and you are thinking of someone that might love this home or better yet, maybe you want to love this home for the next 15 or 17 years. If so, please schedule your private showing with me. Feel free to reach out with any questions that you have and we would love it if you would share it. Help me to sell this home to another family that will just love and enjoy it like we did. Thanks so much for watching and choose to make it a great day.